One time for the queen And you already know Make some noise for your boy It's cut different, baby. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I started making AI music. Y'all know y'all heard the the mm-hmm. popular Drake AI song. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, I'm like, shit, I can make it better. I can make a better AI song. So I started making AI songs. Mm-hmm. And this is one of my AI songs. It's supposed to be a Trippy Red AI song. So uh. I have it with Trippy Red's voice on there. Mm-hmm. And that's why it sounds like, hey, this got Trippy Red vibe. It got like a vibe. Mm-hmm. Meant to be a Trippy Didn't Red I say that AI song. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. okay. But Didn't I say that earlier. I'm trying to release every week, so I need songs to drop. So I was like, shit, let me take these AI songs that I was making and just keep my voice on there. So what, are you not like that's working hard. on a project? Are you like just um, releasing really projects, single bro. materials? Projects ain't never done good for me, for real. Mm-hmm. Like they, when I. When I did the Dark Side project back in the day, it did well mm-hmm. because, like, I just had a, a a better fan base back then of people who actually listen to whole projects. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, nowadays, I'm just going to release singles because if I drop a project, nigga, I'm a hit maker. I'm just going to say, say that. I'm a hit maker. I make hits. Yeah, if, I dro- sure. if I give you a project, every song on there going to be a hit. Fact. Most you of them are going to get overlooked. Yeah, especially mm-hmm. because the, the game is so microwave. That yes. can come. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. I'm just gonna drop singles every single Friday, and like For real? kill the game. That, that's put all the attention on one song. Starting this week, starting. Well, I got this one dropping, and then March 22nd, I'm starting every week. Gotcha. So I'm so gonna let this one manifest for like a month up. because I'm gonna do a whole video and shit. Gotcha. I done caught the whole outfit on TikTok shop and everything. Yeah. Well, they said, "Boy, I ain't go yeah. play with it." I was, that's what I was gonna ask if you shot a video to it. <laughs> I'm about to. So okay. like, um, I'm trying to shoot that not this weekend, but probably next weekend, um, okay. and then edit it, get it out pretty quickly, and then just start f- flooding. You be editing your videos yourself? Yep, I edit my videos. Sometimes I go to somebody like uh, the slide times ten video. I had Thrizzy shoot that on the iPhone. Shout out, mm. to, Shout out to Thrizzy. Shout out to Thrizzy, bro. Thrizzy, 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 Thrizzy is a magician. Dog, Thrizzy a goddamn magician. Oh, he thing, can man. do anything and everything. If he don't know how to do it, he going to figure, figure it out. out. He going to figure it out before you find somebody to do that's it. Like, Dri- I told y'all, that's Drizzy <laughs> Justin Bieber Lake, man. Oh, yeah. you hear me? <laughs> Drizzy <laughs> Justin Bieber Lake. Everybody yeah, here know who Thrizzy is and he not in a room. That shit tell you. We did a whole episode with Thrizzy. Yeah, Thrizzy kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did. You did. Like Thrizzy that nigga for real. Yeah, man. I was in the studio with Thursday, I did a song and it was something that was like kind of fucked up with the beat and I didn't know how to explain it. But when I explained it, he was like, got you. And no, like, exactly. it's because he was already hearing what you was hearing. Mm-hmm. And like, so when you said it, seconds, he already knew nigga, to do it. Nigga brought my idea to life. Mm-hmm. Sad bar real quick. It's Shout out. Great. To, it's a, uh, it's a dude, man. Uh, shroom, shroom vibes, man. Mm-hmm. I'm locked up with dude. Right. Right. I got another dude, man. Uh, my nigga, my little brother, man, uh, James Miller. We call him Pete. He doing a life bit. Um, him and Shroom was cool. Mm-hmm. So when Shroom get out, Pistol getting a hold of me and telling me to hook up with Shroom. So make a long story short, I meet Thrizzy through Shroom. Through Shroom. Mm-hmm. And when right. I linked in with Thrizzy, I'm like, he it. Yeah, yeah. You hear me? I'm okay. like, yeah. yeah. Let me, hey, squad, bro, hey, we got a house, we got <laughs> a home, nigga, like this, hey, on everything. Like, that's yeah. what's up. It was, you know what I'm saying? So it, it, it was, it was, it was, it was crazy. Like, I thought it. Shout out Shrooms too. Yeah, Shrooms, yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, man, Thursday, Thursday, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Oh, like sometimes, like he always, he always paint the story like, yeah, man, always knew when I seen Jai's that I was going to work with Jai, but it's like, man, Loki, I'm blessed to find Thrizzy, nigga, like. Yeah, hey, um, he and he said that on here. He done taught me so fucking much. But I'm pretty sure vice versa. Yeah, respectful. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm pretty respectful. sure, you know, each one teach one. It's an each one teach one type situation. I give him so much information because of, of how much I get from Thursday. Mm. It's like when I see him, it's like I got to like tell him everything I just learned. Like, yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. So look, so I know that y'all are collective, Vibes Collective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How often do y'all see each other? Like, is this like a, because the way you speak is like y'all go like time periods without running into each other or do mm-hmm. you like. Do y'all? Um, we do have time periods when we're not running into each other, but that's mainly just because everybody, like, Thrizzy, super busy, but we still work. We got the retreats coming up. We got a lot of shows coming up. Um, like we're, I done told Thrizzy we need to get into podcasting and, mm-hmm. and just like work networking with other people. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like we we still getting out there. We still link up. Um, I just seen Thrizzy the other day and we shot uh, a skit for a movie. Oh, for, that's dope. Uh, Spencer Wolf actually. Okay. Yeah, okay. we got together, rehearsed. It took us like a, an hour to like create us, like take the skit he gave us, remake it to like it sounded like us, mm-hmm. yeah. and then to rehearse it and know it without 
even looking at the script. How long have y'all known each other, you and Thrizzy? Probably three, four years max. Because y'all chemistry is good together. What's the... Uh, that Thrizzy video where they wake up in the, in the car. In the car. Yeah. <laughs> way up. Yeah, way, way up. up. Way yeah, up. I said, bro, if, they, they, if they don't come out with a bud, hippie, man, I, I, movie, helped, so. I, helped, I helped Thrizzy write some of that. The second verse, like, yeah. he he was like, Jai, bro, I need some help. I'm like, man, you know what? I'm, I'm about to come in here. Oh, and yeah. And I'm like, I'm like a part of the whole process of making the way up. You feel me? We just sat down. Like Learn came up with a video day. together. That's you know, one of my favorite Thrizzy songs. I write songs. Yeah, Thrizzy had helped me write favorite. shit. Favorite nigga. He be helping me come up with motherfucking Dean. I know. I don't know if y'all know who Dean is dead. Like, y'all know who that is. No, I ain't him. All right. So I seen he, he. He do he is he a part of the collective? Yeah, he's a part of the collective. Um, right I've now he got a, a kid. Songs. He got a kid, so he kind of like. Chilled out for a yeah, minute. Yeah, chilled out for a minute. Yeah, but that's what you're supposed to do when you. Hey, paternity. Yeah, yeah. Paternity. Is this his we first? One his first. Is his first child. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what you're supposed to do. It's understood. Hey, paternity. The world stop. But like, <laughs> we we turned him into like I want you to imagine like without even listening to his music I want you to imagine Eminem turning into Ed Sheeran. Like that's what we did to Dean. He went from a rapper to a pop star. Like the three of us got together and was like, let's just put our minds into making art. Got you. It don't matter whose song it is. We just gonna put all our minds in it, mm-hmm. and that's like that's really. Fire. I like that. The strength of the collective is is that just that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm not writing my music by myself. Sometimes y'all hear all these bars that Java having his music, bro. It could be a Aki. I, my homie Aki could have helped me come up with that bar. Yeah. You feel that, me? So y'all that's got like a, team. a y'all got a think tank. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's a dope. lot of people that's be like, dope. man, fuck songwriters, man. Y'all, y'all yeah. be having ghostwriters. It's like, nah, nah, bro. But my mind is good. Aki's mind is good, but imagine two good minds together. Yeah, bro. but not only that, they tell him don't get it fucked up. Like I can't pull this pen out. Yeah, and get you the, feel and me? Put that work in. Yeah, it was ass. a verse here before this nigga came through. You yeah, feel me? Sure. He just said, "Do you can say this bar better?" Or, yeah, or, you feel me? Kind of, I, 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 I can picture like the Dungeon Family, them studio sessions would be okay. something like yeah, that. Okay, you see what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's what the retreats is is like too. You know, we supposed to um around about that retreat. <laughs> yeah, he on my ass about like, it. We I supposed to uh get in there so we could like um Y'all gotta come to the next one. Yeah, I'm hip to it. That's Y'all what, have to. We keep that's what Thrizzy said. I ain't trying to say too much, but the next one is the one. That's yeah. the one, is it? Location alone. So like this. All right, we'll talk about it with the in, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Respectful. Yeah, we'll start putting a little out. couple of dollars towards that now. Yeah, we yeah, really we gotta fine. really do it though, because we supposed bro, to be bro, like supposed two. To have already been locked in. Yeah, for sure. On the sure, flyer yeah. talking about we coming. Like we not even we supposed to be talking about it like, yeah, this next one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we supposed, well, supposed to go up. We supposed to like, be talking about it like we there. Yeah, so look. Uh, of course, you are who you are now, and you're part of the Vibes Collective. But you've been jive way before Vibes Collective was ever um, even formed. You know what I mean? So we really want to get into the history of you and what you've been up to to get you to this point. You feel me? So um, because I don't know if you know when me and you first originally met, but I met you years ago. I used to be a part of Buku Entertainment. Buku and Huber. Yeah. Oh my God. And I remember you and one of your partners came Eric. up there and y'all were showing us your videos. And I think the first video I saw from you is the video where you ended up getting shot in the grocery store. You got the um the sign outside and this and it's like a speed yeah, up. And 7 that shit was some of the hardest shit. Like for, especially for that time in music. You was like way ahead of the curve, like creatively, you see what I'm saying? Even though me and Eric we like we don't see eye to eye anymore, bro. I ain't gonna lie, he was one of the most creative motherfuckers I got blessed to work with. Yeah, he just like with the video, mm-hmm. he just was like a step ahead. Yeah, like, he was Cole Bennett before Cole Bennett was Cole you Bennett. I mean, like he was just on that shit, mm-hmm. like way before everybody else. So like I kind of had an edge. I had good music, you know, but like with a good visual, your music gonna sound better. You feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eric really Definitely. turned my music up by giving me these insane visuals. Um, okay. So what happened? That's loud. Like, I mean, <laughs> we just went our different ways. Uh, he moved to Florida. I went down there with him, but I had a child on the way, so mm-hmm. I ended up having to come back, and we just went our separate ways. But, like, I just wanted to be a father more than I mm-hmm. wanted to paternity do anything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to be a father. Wait, no. Paternity yeah. leave is a real thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. For yeah. men. Yeah, as well. But, yeah, man. 
uh, visuals. I've always been on top of it with my visuals. Just as, that's kind of why it takes me so long to drop a music video because mm-hmm. I, I want the next best thing. You put so much into yeah. them. I want the next best thing, so it's just like that's why it's, it just takes me a long time to like drop visual projects. But now this year, I'm not not fucking around. I'm just going. I'm gonna start you know spending bread with the niggas in the city. You feel me? Prince visuals. I done already got a video shot by him. I'm gonna shop with Donnie. I'm gonna shop with you feel me. Um, What's the name? Peso. You feel me? I just want to shop around with different people and just like network to put my projects together. I feel like that's going to bring more people in the city to fuck with me. And also, I do so much that I really don't have the time to put in my music videos. So if Mm -hmm. the time that I do use to put on music videos, if somebody else could take that time and edit my music videos while I was doing something else. Mm Mm-hmm. It's gonna be way more beneficial, so I'm just gonna have to way more productive. Too. Yeah, it's gonna. I gotta spend some money, but that's cool because I'm keeping the money in the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like we're working and we trading. Not to mention, I mean, shit, the names you name, you you definitely spending it wisely. You know, you what feel me? Sure, you going to the right. Yeah, if I'm gonna spend real. it, it's gotta be. Yeah, it gotta yeah, make sense. It man. gotta you be one of them. Get yeah. the quality. Mm-hmm. Dope and I, and I like that uh, the fact that you were talking about spreading around using different uh, videographers or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, for your projects, uh, due to the fact each videographer has a own, has their own different uh, eye, uh, how they you know what I'm saying critique and do things or whatever. So yeah. it gives a different angle of your music, is it, so to speak. They yeah. have different style, and they have their own saying. fan base. So and yeah, they got their own and, fan and, base. And it, so it broadens it broadens his. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. And then that's a, for real. That's how a lot of uh, relationships get. Um, built and founded, you know what I'm saying? Because now it's like, damn, this one, like, for whatever reason, I did do videos with everybody else, but me and dude's videos just be off the chain. So now yeah, y'all get chemistry the, is yeah, crazy. chemistry get, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So Me and Prince, we work real well together. I'm shout like, out to my nigga Prince, yeah, man. shout out to Prince, bro. He, honestly, like, he... Prince work great with everybody, he, though. Yeah, he do, though. He, he just do. know what he doing, for real. He do. Um, I haven't really got the chance to work with anybody else, but I know for sure, like, I'm about to work with Donnie. Uh, I got a song specifically that I want to do with him. Um, but... I think this this year I want to focus on networking more with the people in the city. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like step out more because I was really in my shell the entire time I've been an artist and didn't even realize it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm trying to come differently this year. Is there anybody that you um, specifically want to work with that you probably haven't had a chance to yet? Mm. I ain't going to lie, bro. I got a features with almost anybody and everybody. So I think I do want to work with, I want to work with Jada Wright. Uh, mm-hmm. I think, I think that's just like a cornerstone of of dating that just needs to be met eventually. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, Jay, I, I need that verse back too. Matter of fact, yeah, <laughs> like we got a song back in the day, but it was like somebody featured me and him on the song. Yeah, yeah so that's it's not it's not a count. strong. Yeah, like, you talking I about get, Are you talking about that cipher? It was not that too though. There was a cipher me and him was on, but nah, it was oh, I can't remember dude's name for real. I ain't even about to waste time trying to remember it. See? But like, uh, yeah, this dude had put me and Jada Wright on a song a long ass time ago, like, like a long ass time ago. Mm-hmm. And and uh, I was like, hell yeah, I got a song with Jada Wright, like that's dope. But now you feel me? I done got bigger. He's still growing, and he's growing massively. He just mm-hmm. did the the song with uh. Mexican OT. Yeah, and, yeah, and the was, video. Yeah. He Shout was out. just with somebody else I just seen recently. And he was like, he Y'all be, ready for this? Yeah, he, he been putting in, in. Oh, Chicken P. Yeah. 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 yeah he Dude been putting in. in work for sure. But they, you know, uh, they've been putting in work for a long time. They used to, you know, bring out people for shows. And mm-hmm. I think they brought out the baby once. And, mm-hmm. like, you know, they've been doing big yeah, shit. So. Hey. I'm trying to link up with them and kind of just join that, join Dayton up. Because I've always been about unity. Me I think too. if Dayton work together more, and I know just saying that is kind of like yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like nah, if, if niggas really was just like I'm put that pride aside, I would charge. Niggas are so small minded. I used to charge for features, bro. I used to charge niggas. In my I remember own city, bro. I remember. Like, I'm not doing I that remember, no more. Bro. I'm wise. <laughs> I'm wise. Yeah, I remember you told you told me a hundred one time. Yeah, fuck that shit, bro. Let's work. Let's work. That's it's, what I'm on, yeah, bro. Yeah, like fuck it's that a shit. Strong number of exposure. Nigga, music is music. Music is music. It's strong. Plus, for real. If people start looking at it like we brothers are the same struggle, yeah, you know what I mean. Let's get our set. Let's get big, Bob. then we can charge everybody. These else. niggas, 
Yeah, exactly. But and like and like them at for first, the experience. At first, I was like, I'm only charging people like if I don't know you, mm. if I don't know how serious you you coming with it, mm. like, and I, I respect that because I don't want to waste waste time. Fire has verse. Mm-hmm. Exactly. If I jump on your song, I promise you, I'm not gonna lack. Mm-hmm. I'm a jump. I'm a I'm a hit it like it's my song. Right. You feel me? And like that's when people listen to a feature I do, and they be like, "Damn, why, why you watch them like that?" Cause it's my song, nigga. Like, I don't. You <laughs> what you think <laughs> I came? What you yeah. think I came I to do? Yeah, right. I came to put foot on next. I'm, hey, I'm stand on bitten. Yeah, hey, that part. like I did about twenty of those last year yeah, when niggas yeah. sent me a song, and I had to you walk that stand bit. on that yeah. shit. And he was doing feature Friday. Hey, I did about twenty. 20 yeah, I was in the studio at least. Twice during your sessions, bro. Like Dang, I remember specific. Anybody that sent me a song, I sent it right back. Same day. Same day. On Flame. Me. You hear me? And, um, you, like, but like you said, a lot of people ain't serious. A lot I of did twenty serious. features, and only one of them came out. Or two, one or two of them came out. You know how many features I've done for people that never came out, bro? That's but listen crazy. though, mm. I do so many. I do at least four. Do y'all think week. do y'all think people sit and listen to y'all feature and be like, bro, stepped on my shit? Nah, I ain't putting that shit out. That is stupid. I've had people but come like, up to me and say they changing a verse after I sent them some shit. Yeah, I get that. You got to do what's, what's best for the song. Seventy five percent of the songs I hop meant, on, somebody changing. Sometimes it's meant for me to hit you with the jab so he can come with the haymaker on the second mm-hmm. verse. You feel but me? That's cool because that's leveling up the nigga I'm doing the song with. Yeah. Yeah. But it ain't no shade that, doing that because he's about just, to level up. Off I was just wondering how y'all thought about the next man perspective. Perspective, you know, I, I understand. they normally tell me they're like, damn, nigga, you walk dropping my it. Shit. Whether you know what I'm saying, I, like I don't give a fuck who bro. was the hardest. If I'm on it, I'm dropping it. But I god damn it, like hold that. on, wait yeah. before. Listen, so you know how you said that you don't how it was how you would charge somebody you don't know because you don't know how serious they are or something like that. Y'all been in the game so long. Who's to say that that no name nigga that don't that Ain't y'all don't know? No. That my you goal. might be the the make, make or serious. break mm. for him to be like nigga. I got a I got a motherfucking jive verse. No, I got a jive verse, nigga. Right, jive is somebody to me, and if he feel like it was worth jumping on my shit, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. walk that nigga walking around like this for the next three weeks mm-hmm. just out. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Or a Yago verse, like you feel me? Or an old block verse, like yeah. I've been listening to these niggas, bro. You feel me? Right. Cause I can only imagine how that would have made me feel if I'd have got features from certain people when I was doing music. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. The whole unity thing. I um. I, like I ain't gonna. I, that's why I love like Atlanta. I know you don't. I, uh, you the that? culture yeah, I did. of the music in <laughs> New York. You know what I'm saying? Like they come. They 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 they, they well. like mm-hmm. Atlanta is so prosperous of with the music shit. It's the new mecca because they're not selfish. You know what I'm saying? If they in the same studio, if you if you upstairs or we on the same floor, or we in the same studio or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's how niggas end up linking up and doing collaborations and, and put. But listen, it even if they don't like each other, it, you, Atlanta used to be. If you weren't from Atlanta, you didn't even know a lot of these niggas had conflict. Like they used to keep. That shit in the street for real. You yeah. see what I'm saying? But like from a perspective, like from an outside looking in perspective, you could never really tell that. Not at all. But again, how they put each other on. At the end of the day, they put each other on respect, respectful of the like, mm-hmm. regardless of the beef. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Atlanta is so big, it's so deep, and niggas is putting they own put niggas is putting niggas on just by throwing them onto a feature. Working with each other. Working with each other. Yeah. This song. Mention them in that's, interviews. That's, all kinds of shit. And so, I mean, and, I'll be seeing small shit, shit that right add there. up. When they, yeah. bring, when they bring light to that nigga, you just, you just, le- you leveled him. Mm-hmm. You know Rest what I'm saying? Peace, Pimp C, bro. It's the Drake effect, bro. They he, be doing that to that each one. other. Yep. You feel me? Like, that's what, like, that's what I want to do in dating, bro. I just feel like, like, you know. We do a song together. We about to do a tape, nigga. We, Fuck. F- hey, if we do a tape together. Talk that. Talk that. Nigga. And everybody from my fan base become fans of you, and mm-hmm. everybody from your fan base become fans of me. We just Bro, don't nobody know. lost. Hold on, wait. That's your camera right there, Jav. I need you to look in that camera for our viewership and say that again. You and Yego gonna do what now? Man, we gonna make a tape, nigga. Okay. We gonna make we gonna make so many songs. <laughs> I make songs on the spot. I do features on the spot, and they fire. I'm. At, you heard it first exclusively. I'm not doing no whack right here. Hey. And, if, and if this nigga tell me my verse rat, whack, I'm rewriting it. I'm not about to be salty. I'm going to rewrite that bitch till he love it. 
Hey. I don't think this was scripted. This, this one this ain't scripted neither. <laughs> hey, facts. One scripted yeah, at all. This ain't scripted neither, man. Hey, None yeah, of that. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Jeez, That's, I, I ain't gonna lie. Right there, now that you just you just said that, right? Woo. I'm sitting here thinking like that gonna be a fire ass thing. Boy, that's gonna be hard. Knowing yeah. your knowing your style and where you, you come see. from, your style. That's that's a You know where the best music come from? The energy in the room. Respectfully so. <laughs> so once we get in the studio, yo, Drizzy at the computer. Come on. Man. Energy already set right there. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, go at the mic. Look. I want to get the, on that's there. That's the big three. I just yeah. want to talk some anime shit with you. Because oh. I feel like I can go with you, you know, on that shit. Special. But I don't even, I know. I fuck around a speaking little bit. Of, just a tad around. bit, but I can, hey. Speaking of which, I heard that. Uh, get the topics and all that shit. The one, the one song you was doing, we was metaphorically going to, uh, with yeah, I got the, a uh, couple more questions. Like Dragon Ball, like all the love. The uh, nerd, nerd bars. Nerd bars. Yeah. That shit. Look, I ain't That shit lie. live. So and I've always different. been a nerd, man. And it's you too. You too? <laughs> <laughs> i always been a big hat. Like, I'm watching a Demon Slayer movie tomorrow. Like, going to but see I can't wait theater. for that. They got an <laughs> airbender to come out. Uh, 22nd. I'm waiting on airbender. I'm waiting on, airbender. Date. I'm waiting on <laughs> airbender. Yeah. Well, hold on. Since you brought that up, man, I think it's only right we, Yo, my God. we let him know how he got Hello, it up. Brother. I already got your beat pulled up, so if you ready, then I'm just ready to bust these rhymes. I bet. Okay, crazy. Wet him up as Misty, ain't no Pokemon when I blast toys rat -a them choppers back to back, turn you in a ash boy Cannon on me, Mega Man, your homie, get your ass destroyed This Mac can make the space around you, dog. this an asteroid Bitch, I'm a chief and I'm cooling with dogs I stay with the heat and no cooling me off We ain't playing at all, bitch, you know I'm a boss For a minimum fee, we be getting you gone No Hunter x Hunter, I came from the mud I was deep in the gutter, let's run at the numbers and free all my brothers Nobody finishes CNC, it's like niggas that stutter And that's on my I mother. used to be broke as a bitch, now I'm reach. I got shooters, busting out expensive wits Sly Cooper, I'm in the billy with the stick That's manure, niggas pissed Cause I'm the shit I'm a ruler Been a king since the G No cooler Bitch a freezer with the beans Got a boot up Pop a person since we Think I grew up Dr. Seuss on with them things Niggas really used to tell me it's jokes Now niggas is scared they ain't dropping that low No Fortnite I rush and take all the gold I drop a body and then I emote Dance on the grids on my enemies No whipping infinity How about the lemons the gold No Goku I got over 9k Bitch you can die today Busting a power pole like ye Bro that was fire <laughs> Where'd, you Where'd you go? Hey on my mama I ain't hey, gonna lie So like that, that shit Hey cold. can I get Can we get more of that? Hold on, I got more that coming. I got a, I got a song. I'm bringing that shit out. I got a song called I got a song called Reptar that's coming out where I do all rug rap bars. Can I challenge? Can I challenge you to do something? For every every week or whenever you drop a a a a pop super mega star record, yeah, drop some. I need one of them. One of them TikTok. One of them. Just one of them type songs. Period. Every time you come. Super duper star, I need one of them yeah. too. Right. I'm, hey, we am about to bring week, that bro. shit out him on this tape. Yeah. Can, can we get that tape? from you? Yes, every time. I'm bringing that shit That's out. what I do. Yeah. Like, like, nah, but you got I didn't even shout. think I was going to find anybody who liked that shit. When I did it, what? I just dropped the TikTok. Crazy. I was like, bro, these are bars though. Like, I hope nobody sleep on it. Man. I put it on TikTok and it got so much love. Man. I blew the original song up kind of like I'm going to tell you up, what he went. be telling me. Man, quit doubting yourself, bro. No cap. <laughs> hey, for real. No cap. My nigga over here, Boy, we yeah, off camera, but he told me that all the time. Stop me when I start lying. Man, for <laughs> real. Yeah, you do that shit. You doing? You still doing that shit? Hey, I ain't gonna. Man. I ain't gonna put. I ain't gonna say nothing else. I ain't gonna put you out. <laughs> I got a serious question. Yeah. What? How did you come up with the idea to drop music under a different name? Oh, okay. So, funny enough, it was actually something that I thought was real, but it wasn't real. And then I started doing it myself. So, mm -hmm. like, when Juice World passed, All right. he, you could go on Spotify and find his unreleased music under different names. Mm -hmm. And then, like, there was this meme that was going around. I was saying Juice World was dropping music under the label, like, behind their back under a different name mm -hmm. to get revenue. So I'm like, oh, that's fucking genius. Mm -hmm. And then, like, my cousin DJ came over one day, and he had gave me this beat that I was like, it's not really jive style, but it's, like, can be something else. And mm -hmm. when I came did the song, the I had did it in all falsetto. Mm -hmm. my, the whole song was falsetto, but it was a fucking banger. It's called F U times 10. It's a fucking mm. heater. Yeah, and I was like, I can't drop this as jive, though. Like, 
my 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 fan base ain't gonna like it. Cause mm-hmm. it wasn't so your style. I, yeah, gotcha. but that's not what they used to. It's not yeah. what they used to. So what like, you drop it as? I dropped it as depressed yeah. with a V. I remember that. Mm. I, I remember dropped that. it as depressed, and it did mm. so well, bro. Mm. It like that song, like low key. I was like, some people were telling me depressed was gonna blow before jive, and I only had one song out. That's crazy. Mm. Like my close friends, like was like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, depressed might be the one. So I just kept doing the depressed shit. Mm-hmm. And then over time, um, I started doing hyper pop music. And like, I like hyper pop. Mm-hmm. Everybody else don't really like hyper pop. So I'm still trying to find that niche. But I'm sure that once I find the hyper pop niche, that mm-hmm. they going to gravitate towards depressed. So yeah. when whenever you was doing in your depressed phase and you were dropping more like emo style music, mm-hmm. um, did you feel like that it played a part on your psyche? Like, because you know, whenever you get into a creative state, that's you, a good question. Yeah, it was. That's Come a fire ass question. That's the number lie. one podcast coming out of Ohio. That's the big lead. That's a good. That's a good ass question. <laughs> not, I'm not gonna cap. Yes, it does. I think every song I make plays a part. On a you. part. But I started making music like, like just talking about like just being strapped up and shit. Before I was strapped up, mm-hmm. got strapped up after. Mm-hmm. But like it just happened that way. I almost felt like the music like you paid up. That. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like I wasn't doing that before. Yeah. Now I like I got this motherfucker on me at all times. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? I feel like you got to because you're talking like that. I think mm-hmm. when I started making sad music, I became a sadder person. Mm-hmm. That's, and you know what made more me more depressed right making there. depressed music. Mm-hmm. So listen, and you know what made me ask you that because you know everything entertainment based it all derives from like a place of art. When you when you're an actor, mm-hmm. it's art. Mm-hmm. And just think about the mindset that Heath Ledger was in. I was about to say Heath Ledger. When he tried to play the Joker. Was, you see what I'm saying? It plays yeah. into your psyche. It, it, and that's what made me, because you said you came up with a completely different character. That's crazy. And it was like directed towards that type of music. And it made me wonder, you know, a different form of art, but same mentality. You see what I'm saying? And what's crazy is because I meant, I created, I really created to depress, I really created to depress to be the person who I Was I feel like I was about to become. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like this is who I became through good choices. But if I would have went left at some of them choices, mm-hmm. or I guess it's yeah. right, You're dark. <laughs> but like you know what I'm saying. You're dark. <laughs> if I would have went the other way, mm-hmm. yeah. it would be this nigga. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So like I talk about all the drugs he does because some of them I've done, but I never got addicted to. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so like, happy. if I would have gotten addicted to it, though, mm-hmm. I would be this nigga. I got an idea for you. What's up? You should do a song with Jive featuring Depressed, and y'all should do the Eminem, Dr. Dre, uh, doom, doom, sh- going doom, back and doom, forth. Doom, sh- yeah. Guilty yeah. conscience. Doom, 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 I actually do doom, have a Jive and Depressed doom, song doom, 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 uh, together, but it's but like, like something else. Y'all should play like the play off each other's personality. Y'all should play the angel versus the like, demon perspective. Like like. Like, like where y'all trying to co- co- uh, coerce somebody or prevent like somebody that's from hard. making a bad. That's hard. You just gave him some. Hey, you so you could make you could make it be right here. Jive on one trying side, trying to get some royalties. Depressed <laughs> on the <laughs> other. In the video. I'm just trying to contribute to the like to the, the, to the, to the, to the culture. Shit. You feel me? Yeah, no, nah, sure. like, yeah. Man, I mean, you know, real. if I got an idea that's yeah, not for everything, I need all for, ideas. Everything you can't be for me. It's hard enough to build one fan base. This man done built two. Different, completely that, different that, fan base, and, and, and they be, don't even know I'm the same person. That what? might be exactly what depressed need, though. You know Some what I'm saying? Don't know, bro. If Jive and depressed do a video together, you know what I'm saying? And show that that might bring, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The 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 awesome. demographic you looking for, you know yeah, what I mean? A lot of people had no idea until I did the slide times ten video. Remember on time? They was like, theory. Jive, that's you. I'm like, yeah. And if you want to make, it, <laughs> and if you want to make it funny. <laughs> You know, um, Desi Banks, how he do white forest ones versus mm-hmm. black air force ones. Yeah. If you want to try to throw like some humor into it, yeah. you can add that kind of a perspective into it too. Yeah. Make exactly. it cinematic a little mm-hmm. bit. You remember? Because I know what type uh, of videos you like. You like the, you feel me? Remember on Tom and Jerry, how they always used to have the, the devil and the angel on their shoulder mm-hmm. glo- uh, floating? Mm-hmm. I don't know how to do that too. We know. I always wanted to do a video <laughs> like that. It's <laughs> easy. Yeah. That's easy actually. <clears throat> We're going to make it happen. Tap in with me. I got you. Sure.
We about to tap in harder than we ever. Yeah, had. facts. I ain't gonna lie. You know, we now that we, we know he ain't charging up. for features, if he's hey, feel, he feels a little more up. accessible, <laughs> though. <Yeah. laughs> See, that's another thing, bro. I feel like I feel like a lot of people saw me a certain way before they actually met me. Like a lot of people, like I, right, if I meet you. And like we chill and shit. Like most of the time, I'm just like, yes, yeah, let's just make it. That's what happened with music, though. Yeah. Because right. sometimes you hit me up online. I'm back in the day. I probably would definitely was gonna hit you with a price. But if you was like met me at One Eye Jacks or something, was like, yo, bro, we gotta work. I'd be like, yeah, let's get in the studio right now. Yeah. Like, I, don't know. I was always like that. I'm an in person type of person. Like, mm-hmm. I gotta feel your energy, energy. up close. Yeah. You gotta know it's real. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe we drinking this. I, um, <laughs> I need another one. Kiara wine. Kiara is the <laughs> shit. No, 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 No disrespect, man. No disrespect, man. (laughs) I'm weak as well. Kiara Wine is the gang that pays me. Now, all right. um. (laughs) 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 But if you would like to be a sponsor, if everybody has one in the Cut Different Network, you can reach out to us on any one of our social media platforms or ehopodcast at gmail.com. Come holla at us. Come holla. Oh. Yeah. Um, were y'all want to take the conversation? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I got a lot of shit planned for real. That's what you got planned? I got planned. I ain't going to lie, but me and my nigga Aki. So Shout out to I, Aki. I, I wish Aki was here, bro. Because I, I really want y'all to, if y'all haven't met him already. Aki, bro, he's like, this mm-hmm. nigga brilliant, for real. Mm. Like, his, his mind is just so different. Y'all watch anime? Yeah. Bro, we got our own anime in the works. It's mainly Aki, but we got our own Your anime. own actual anime? Can it's please... based off of Depressed and his friends. Can I please be a character? Bro, we've been putting people in the anime, bro. We've been Can I please roles, be a like, character yeah. somehow? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. That shit happen, bro. We just want to... Hey, Aki! So the, way... <laughs> <laughs> so the way the anime started off, um, like I made the Depressed uh, Vibes EP, which is my first hyper-pop EP. Uh, the project or at all that okay, I listen, depressed. I, what is hyper pop? Hyper pop. This because I, I don't know, and I'm pretty sure it's a you couple probably, people that don't know either. So just for the viewership, hyper pop is just this genre of music that sounds you can make it sound like anything. Like, bro, it's just like very hyper. Obviously, hyper pop, like hyper, like more not upbeat. EDM, but like more hyper mm-hmm. and like. Uh, Electronic-y, it's like a, like if you mashed up a little Uzi type beat with a pop beat, and you like put them together. It's kind of like what hyper pop reminds me of, like mm-hmm. outer space music, like real. I don't know, it's just like real electronically and real electronic, fast, mm-hmm. like upbeat. You feel me? But like, I've heard. So many different types of hyper pop music. Like, I'm talking about songs that I absolutely hate. I can't stand. I don't understand how people listen to it. It don't make sense. I can't even, like, sometimes you can listen to a song and be like, oh, I can understand why somebody would listen to this. But nah, some songs it's just like, how is this guy? How is this re- even? Question. Ridiculous question. millions of plays. Would, um, my man's dropped an album a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Drake. Would that album be somewhat anywhere like hyper pop? No, I'm trying to think of an artist because he came like listen to hella album. techno, all yeah. type of. That's more like he was kind of like doing dance, dance hall. Yeah, all, yeah. Uh, it's that's what he said. I don't know an artist anyway. that's like. It wasn't for us. Yeah. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, I'm, when I was locked up, before I cut out from doing my five, I was watching Revolt, and he got a <coughs> song called Sticky or some little shit like that or whatever on that album. And I'm listening to his words, and what he's saying is just not meshing with the beat mm. to me. Mm-hmm. But 
it just got everybody. <laughs> Hold on, wait. That's you, probably why it got everybody turned because it ain't It's the it's a video. Like so in jail, like Revolt, I it played, you know what I'm saying? So we while I'm watching Drink Drink Champs. On TV. Yeah, yeah. Big facts, all that shit. Where y'all in there dancing to that is what I'm trying to figure out. What the fuck I look like. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, cause I'm gonna reach out to the penitentiary. <laughs> And I need that footage. We go upload that. <laughs> November 29th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In between 445. I need that. Nah, never. <laughs> Not the block, I'm saying if they got if they got footage of Lil J running around with uh Whomever, yeah, his people. I wonder how much that costs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, we we want to see what you been, what you been. Hey, listen. I give you all the information you need. You can... All right. <laughs> so listen, if you is there anybody in the industry that you could probably put a name on that that'll give I'm like probably, a, yeah like a perfect um, example? Midwest, but it's like Midwest and the West has an X in it instead of E. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Doa. Okay, I'm not really um, familiar, but I'm gonna look into it. There's so a popular can... uh, TikTok song called Sugar that is just super popular. You probably would know it if I showed you the song. But, okay. Um, Hyperpop is super new. It's almost like I want to say the newest genre, low key. Like I mean, maybe so you plug break plug and quick. B is the newest one, I guess. So it, it hasn't really broke out yet, but it's something that you, it has, but hasn't. It's not as it hasn't big reached as, its peak yet. Yeah, it has not reached its peak yet. No, no, no. It's kind of like lo-fi music. Like y'all know what lo-fi is. Mm. Y'all never heard of lo-fi music? No, sir. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I love well, how would you That's describe also it? a newer kind of genre. Lo-fi like, music. You yeah. say what now? So like lo-fi is low fidelity music. It's like really extremely calm beats. Mm -hmm. But like niggas be putting their emotions in with bars on, on the beat. So they just be rapping to the super chill ass beat. Like super some chill. Joe Budden mood music type of? Like chilling. Like he said, chill. like the like, calm like after X, you rapping X, to the X X X Tentacion mm -hmm. and Shiloh Dynasty. That's lo-fi. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. My son, that was my son's favorite artist. Yeah, so like X did a lot of lo-fi. So okay, like, I would say he probably made it popular. Honestly, got you. Okay, like, before that, I say there was like you had Jalen Tyree, uh, Sad Boy Prolific, um, um, what's his name, Rose Boys, a couple of other, and Pow Fu. I say them was the ones that was really turning up. And uh, what's his name? Pappy the Heartbreak Kid or something. But there was the ones that really <coughs> was growing lo-fi. And then X came and elevated the, okay. elevated the fuck out of lo-fi. Yeah. Everybody was doing lo-fi. Hmm. So now lo-fi is super popular. But hyper-pop, we still need, I feel like they still need a breakout artist for hyper-pop. Mm -hmm. They ain't got no main, mainstream hyper-pop artists. That's how you know it's super new. Well, shit, it might be. No, I'm trying to look. I'm trying to take over. Well, I'm so, I'm so. Nobody want to work ways. with me. Do Every time shit. I hit up these hyper pop artists, like trying to work with them, bro, they don't even like. I don't even get a price. I just get the nope. This is straight up no. Like damn, damn. They ain't on that shit. That's wild. They're worse than rapper. Crazy. All right, so look. Um, what you say the guy's name was that you was uh, working with when I first met you? Eric Kiss. Okay, boom. So after the whole Eric Kiss. Thing came and gone. You were part of another only um, noise, only noise. Yeah, <laughs> and y'all was making a lot of noise. I was making a lot of noise. Let's talk about it. Mm. So what, <laughs> hold on, let me talk my shit. Talk yeah, shit. I got three hey. shots in me. Let me talk my shit. Hold on, you want another? <laughs> Would you like another shot of Kiara wine? Give my man a shot of Kiara wine, please. My man's about to set the record straight. <laughs> man. Right. Only noise was me, man. Uh, Kiara wine. All right, sometimes. Sometimes you meet people that you feel like are genuine, mm -hmm. and then they prove themselves to not be genuine. Mm. And just pray that in the future they become genuine people. Mm. Okay. So that's one of these situations. I got done dirty. Mm. I hope that you don't do the next person dirty, and I hope you're doing good now. Okay. Oh, respectfully. Respectfully. You feel me? That's grown. Like We fell out bad, but I still don't wish the worst on them boys. Like We still did our time. I still cherish the moments we had, and we did a lot of work when we was together. Man, that sounds like somebody we used to have on our pie panel, man. <laughs> That's grown. Yep. But like, it you do, feel don't me? It. Yeah, it do. What, what bro say? Respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully. Oh my God, what happened to Virgil? <laughs> <laughs> but like, I just felt like, I mean, I, I, when I joined groups, I've been in a lot of groups. Like you said, I'm in a group now. <clears throat> I, I like groups. 
you know, I feel like it's going to be easier with a team, period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But sometimes people just take what you give for granted. Sometimes you give too much, and then they see that you're giving too much, and they want to overstep. And then you don't, just don't, you don't want to be that welcome mat that's like always getting stepped on. So sometimes you got to put your foot down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When, you put, when you put your foot down, people don't like that because you ain't normally like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's different for them. They don't know how to handle it. That's pretty much what happened. Man. Um, hmm. I Like when I say I was doing all the work, I mean, I was the one putting in all the work. I, I, you, like me as an artist, I'm trying to blow up. So I'm right. doing everything I can to blow up. And, you know, I'm reaching out. We doing videos with Chris Daly. I'm doing videos with him constantly. I got other people on the team not doing nothing. And then they getting mad at Chris and me because they thinking like, oh, Chris, don't fuck with me. He's like, no, y'all don't pull up. Y'all not doing shit. Like y'all talking Y'all don't do what's necessary. You can't expect nobody to do shit for them if you ain't pulling up for them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So me and Chris was working together. Um, I blew up band-aids by putting into uh well I, first I invested in a nigga. I gave a nigga a bunch of money. So that he could blow my song up. He blew my song up, told me what he did to blow it up via Facebook and Instagram ads. I was like, ooh, okay. You know, they gave me the sauce. I'm about to start. So I started blowing up my other songs. That's why I got millions. Because I was like, oh, shit, I could just take a few thousand dollars and just go hard. So when I started going hard, I blew up Band-Aids. Blew the song up, man. Like, just straight up. Finally, I'm hitting millions. I'm like, bro, what? Me? Of all people? What? Mm -hmm. How? Me? This dark ass nigga right here, how? Like, and then when I was when I started blowing up the song, I was sending people to Spotify so I can blow up my Spotify via ad. You know, you put the link in there, click on the link, go to Spotify. Mm-hmm. They the YouTube started blowing up, so because everybody's like, oh, I don't have Spotify, I gotta go everywhere else to go get the song. So everybody blowing up the shit on Apple Music, Deezer, Napster. I don't even. Use what that shit. That mm-hmm. yeah, I've I never, never used. I've never heard. Never used any of those apps. I'm blowing up on them apps. YouTube. I'm blowing up on YouTube. I blew up on YouTube so hard that I got half a million views on a on my music video for Band Aids. Mm-hmm. And then when I got half a million, his page got monetized. So he like, oh shit, I'm getting paid. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So like the next time I go to do the promotion, the same promotion on different Band Aids, it didn't do too well, but it still did. Very good. Yeah, for sure. It, it didn't just, do as well because Bandit, you know, every song <clears throat> not going to do the same. Yeah, most definitely. Right. No matter how much money you put in, every song not going to do the same. Mm-hmm. Preparation, so time, and So it didn't do look. as well. Like, it blew up everywhere else, but it didn't blow up YouTube. Mm-hmm. So then the next song I was about to do, I was like, I'm about to put, do another promotion. And he was like, well, I'm monetized on YouTube now, so you should let me see what I can do with the with the money. And let me put in a promotion. I was like... Ah, uh, but you see that I blew up your YouTube. You get monetized and everything now. You got all the watch time, all that shit off of one video. Like, that's crazy. Like, it only makes sense that I keep doing what I'm doing. And the video was because only. It's, it's gonna help everybody. Was only like four. How long was that video? That music video. Like two and a half minutes. Mm. You know how many watch time hours you have to get to become monetized? He got it off of one video. That's- I mean, he had other videos on there that contributed. But by the time I put band-aids on, that was the it only took one video to get him there. Yeah. Yeah. And then he saw that and he started getting paid. Mm-hmm. And so he was like, Well, let me try Sorry, to bro, let me hit this. Let me try to do something. Please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I, Sorry. I argued it, didn't want to give him the money. He said, Give me the money Sorry, because bro. it was almost over. He's like, if you want videos from me, still, if you want to continue getting videos from me, then I need you to give me the money so I can promote it. You're not paying for a video. You paying to promote no, the video I'm drinking. shooting. <laughs> no, I'm talking shit. No. So I, anyways, I gave this nigga the money. He argued it. I was like, all right, I give you the money because I still need videos. Mm-hmm. And like, you right, I'm getting free videos. Might as well give you the money to do whatever promo you're gonna do. Long story short, this nigga went and got me fake plays in my video. Mm. I turned up on him, relentless, merciless. Like I did not care. I just went off, like completely, like. Bruh, Why would you, you blowing it? He if I've got already got it. organic I, views, I knew they was fake views because if you get fake views, your shit will jump up overnight. But your comments and like, look like after that, yeah, and then like I don't got no crazy. new comments. Yeah, I don't got no new comments. Yeah, you feel me? It didn't go up the next day or the next day. I'm All you gotta do not is look at it. Plays. All you gotta look at is your engagement. Yeah, so like me, I've gotten fake plays before by accident, and it fucked my page up before. You mm-hmm. feel me? So I'm like. 
I'm very, very, very against that. That shit happened on your page. Because like, that because fucked my Twitter up like that a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, I paid for SoundCloud promotion before. Like, mm-hmm. this dude was promising. It's, it's, I was young, so I was stupid. Like, dude offered me such and such amount of plays. I'm like, hell yeah, let me, uh, da, da, da. It was cheap as You fuck. went stupid, you I was paid, ignorant. I went stupid. I spent like $200 with this dude. He absolutely, like, all my songs got over like half a million. And like overnight. And I was getting called out. Everybody was talking shit about me. Nigga, I tried. I'm like, what? Nah, like, this ain't fake. And I'm really believing it's yeah, not fake. I'm sure. like, bro, I just pay for promo. Like, I'm sending, I'm posting screenshots. And niggas is like, nigga, you just got scammed. I hit up SoundCloud. Like, can you take the plays off? They done banned my page. Wow. Bruh. I basically yeah. self-snitched on myself. I was about to say, you can't <laughs> take the plays off. It's crazy. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then it was trying like, they was like, to be honorable oh, though. Shit, you hear me? They, so you can't, you can't even see the plays on those songs. So I just hid the plays all together. So I just spent two hundred dollars to hide the plays anyway. Like, That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, I'm not doing fake shit. Like I'm not like I gotta watch who I do promo through. Mm. Even that dude, the dude that I went through to blow a band aids, he had to show me proof. But he was running ads for Lil Pump. Rick Ross, nigga, he was going hard. He was doing shit for celebrities. So oh, yeah, like, he had the sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I had people that I was looking up to that was working with him, which mm. made me want to work with him in the first place. So, do you still have a relationship with him? I do have a still. I do still have a relationship with him. I hit him up, seeing how he's doing all the time. I just don't be having big money. You gotta have big money to fuck with mm-hmm. him. Yeah. you got big money. He gonna change your life. So he said he don't care what type yeah. of business y'all done did before in the past. And the song he gotta be care. right. He's like, nah, first and foremost, you gotta have a song. I don't care how much money you got. If you ain't got the song, I'm not working with you. Well, so. you can you can respect that because he know ain't no need in wasting That's both how I know of your time. Real. Yeah. Strictly business. And he told me exactly business. how he did it. He showed me exactly how I did it. I mocked it. I know it's real because I went through Facebook literally to run the ad. Mm-hmm. It's just the information you put in there is how you do it. And then I started doing it myself. So I was like, this nigga real. Mm. So like when I show, if I show you that my shit is real, show me. why would you want me to give you money so that you can do whatever method you want to do when I just showed you how to get half a million on one video on your page? Mm-hmm. You don't make no sense. Like why wouldn't you want me to continue doing what I'm doing so I can blow up any other video we do together? All right. So I gave him the money. He ran a fake place. I went off. And then he was like, nah, bro, fuck that. Like, no, 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 this ain't fake. Even though he showed me that it was fake because he told me to do he went through, which is the same dude that I went through for the SoundCloud promo. That mm. fake Damn. It's the same nigga, bro. Crazy. That's Got why I was again. like, dude, you motherfucker, bro. What the I just fuck? gave you $500 and you blew it. What's she saying? I'm a broke ass nigga. I don't have time to be blowing <laughs> and wasting $500. Damn. You feel me? Yeah, I'm married. Like, feel you, we in dating, nigga. Sean. I'm not rich. We in dating, nigga. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, I don't have was time. It just, was it still like the same profile and shit? Bro, like, when I how tell you, you I see, bro, this nigga got a lyrical lemonade playlist. He ain't lyrical lemonade. Mm. He got a fake lyrical lemonade playlist. So he So can, you can go look at the so videos. So that you can fake. So you, but you it's can buy lyrical lemonade a placement the on there. Oh, you got to be a goddamn dummy. You got to be a dummy. It's not be. even made by Cole Bennett and you still paying. Come on. All right. Anyways, this nigga <laughs> wasted my money. I went off. I left only noise. I didn't tell nobody I left only noise. I just did it without telling nobody. I was like, I mean, but at some point, I don't want to cause become... no beef online. Mm-hmm. Niggas don't even need to know what I got going on in the background. Mm-hmm. And then uh, once I left, nigga, everybody left. They was like, oh, Jive ain't in this shit. I'm out. So he lost his entire team. So why didn't the team, why didn't you and the remainder of the team get together? Remember when I said they wasn't doing shit? Mm-hmm. I don't like working with niggas who don't do shit. Mm-hmm. Got you. You feel me? Yeah. A lot of them niggas is doing shit now, but at the time, they, they wasn't, wasn't doing shit. I couldn't work with you at the time. You yeah. feel me? Like, but like, I'm just that type of person, like, even the niggas I'm around now, like, they know, like, everybody got drive because, nigga, if you don't have drive, I'm not trying to fuck with you. Mm-hmm. So the niggas around me got drive. Mm-hmm. Naturally. Not because you know, of me. It's natural. When, though. When, mm-hmm. when the unemployment check stops coming in, <laughs> you got to get your ass up and get to work. <laughs> you see what I'm, I'm saying? I'm like, about work. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, when I, you I, you get what I mean by yeah. that, right? Like, you were the the, mm-hmm. the for sure come through. You know what I mean? Once I like you, to be the engine of the car. Yeah, and everywhere you know what I'm I go, I like to be the one that like gets that. everybody going, basically. Yeah, mm-hmm. And nice. like, if I'm if I'm in the room trying to get everybody going, I can see who whose car on. You feel me? I can see who car getting turned on. 
when when the engine come in the room, I'd be like, oh yeah, this this nigga's trying to work. This he ready to, to go. Work. This nigga trying to work. I'm definitely trying to work with these niggas. I bet you I could pull the best out of these niggas. I bet you I could put an absolute. I could just mow this nigga, bro. When I tell you my best friend drew it, funny story. The way me and this nigga met, that's my best friend. I would, I would die for this nigga right now, bro. Like, this nigga sent a song in to my track review, and I and I got a roadcaster. I got the buttons. I pressed a button that let off the poop sound, like a, a long-ass fart, because the song was <laughs> shitty. Like, <laughs> it was just... Do you know it was him? No. I didn't even know who he was. I just hit the fart button. And I, and I told him, I said, it sound like you snapping like a motherfucker, but I can't understand it. The mix is trash. He came, he hit me up, he pulled up, he spent $600 with me. Nigga, he said, give me a lyric video, mix me a few songs, make me that nigga then. If you thought that was shitty, make me that nigga. Turn me up. Mm-hmm. Bro, if y'all heard his music now. Crazy. Bro, it's, bro, it's, I can't even explain it how he did it in a year. How he became, how he went from this to that in a year. And like, I'm not gonna say it's all because of me, but like, we got a team after that, and I've been working with him a lot. He'd be sending me songs, I'd be like, do this and that to it. I'll send him songs, you got the, send that to it. You got yeah. to have the drive, mm-hmm. and you got to have that focus, bro. Now we at a point where we kick it so much. Like, he used to look up to me as far as like the sound of my music, you feel me? And now I'm looking up to him because I'm like, hey, bro, what do you think about this song? What do you think I should change? What, you, what don't you like about it? He'd be like, I don't like the way you hit this note, bro. You need to change this. Like, I'm looking at him for advice now. Mm-hmm. I used to tell him his songs were supposed shit. To be. Y'all trust each other's ear. That's, mm-hmm. That's how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. That's why we worked well together, bro. I could sit there and be like, hey, I don't like this. And he going to be like, all right, what? Well, like, give me more. That's Instead of getting mad. Same thing with yeah, them. See, a lot of people, yeah, see, a lot of people without no poop bad button, blood. Bro. Yeah. A it lot of a, people can't take... Uh, you can't said take it was a shark. <laughs> bro, he the only <laughs> person on the history of every, any time I ever did a podcast that hit the poop button. He's nah, the yeah, only one. Be bad, he bad. make music better than most of the people. Who I used to listen. sing? That's fire. Yeah. No cap. I want to, I like, I low-key, I want to get y'all, I want to get Drew it in here so y'all can do a... A podcast with him, so y'all can be. He got he such he got such a compelling story to what happened to him, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. bro. That it's just like it's hard not to follow it. Put it together. We we'll have him in. Yeah, we I'm need to get, hear. His, I'm gonna get him. That's but, that's but for I, him. But what I will say anyway. is, we gotta hear his music though, because yeah, we gotta hear his music. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get y'all linked in. Yeah, we gotta hear his. Music. Drew a character, bro. We can't go in blind no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> uh, what y'all, y'all got anything else y'all want to ask him before we get into a couple of these topics? What's the story behind the name Jive? Uh, like I, used Jive to be, I used to be Gunna Kid. Yeah, I know. I was Gunna before Gunna. I was Gunna Kid. And then somebody came up to me and was like, hey, bro, you ain't never shot a gun, bro. You should change your name. And I was like, you right. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, my other homie also wanted to change his name. His name was uh, J.P. the Pharaoh. He wanted to change his name. I mean, and J.P. Yeah. He made beats. His, J.C. is his brother. Okay. Uh, he make beats. But I'm hip to Pharaoh, too, though. J.P. the Pharaoh. Well, I you know might be you thinking. About, you talking about. You talking about. Yeah, Pharaoh you thinking a different Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Track, bitch. Yeah, that's a different Pharaoh. That's, a that's different my Pharaoh. dog. Shout out the nigga that worked with Lance. Shout out to yeah. Pharaoh. Yeah. The nigga that worked with Yego. Pharaoh, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. But me and me and this nigga was trying to change our names, and his brother was throwing us name ideas, and he threw up Kid Jive, and then me and him both wanted the name Kid Jive, so we rock paper scissors for the name, oh, and I won because you rock paper scissors for everything, hey, but I rock, won, paper, scissors and I became everything. Kid Jive, but but it was Jive with three eyes. Which got I really it used to confusing. It'd be hard to find you on YouTube, my boy. <laughs> that is why I changed it to hey, an X. Thanks. With three dots above it. Because thanks. it was just hard to find me. My SEO was trash. Because I ain't gonna lie. when I used to try to show people that video I told you about, I was like, J I I I I fuck. How many ads <laughs> How many ads is in that. this nigga name, man? <laughs> I had to change it because my barber, my barber was like, bro, I heard you making noise, bro. Like, yeah, actually, yeah, I am making some noise. He was like, man, what do I look up? And I was like, I told him, he was like, two eyes, one eye. I was like, he said, J I. That double is the line, moment where I was line. like, I'm changing it. I'm tired of people saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta change it now. This nigga's name was Jack. Ja- ja- 
Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> you can oh, tell a nigga shit. was high. Like, <laughs> nah, but yeah, that's the history of the name, man. Cool. Just like I rock paper scissors for this name. I won. Oh, I can't change my name because I I'm standing on business on that one. You feel right. <laughs> standing on business. Oh, you know what? One more thing I'm going to say before we get into some topics. I completely forgot and just popped up in my head. You know how you said Juice World did the whole drop music up mm-hmm. under another alias? You know but it was actually other people. Probably. You know you know who, where the originality, of the origin of that came from? Prince. Prince? Prince changed his name to a symbol so he could put out music without the record labels getting paid for it because they own the name Prince. Mm-hmm. You know, Prince's name was a symbol. He that's when he was the artist formerly known as Prince. Mm. You see what I'm saying? You know what's crazy about that? What? It's because when I was looking up the old the Juice World songs, mm-hmm. I found this nigga named Brain Dead. That's looking crazy. for his music. So I'm like, oh, this nigga work with Juice World. He got songs with Juice World. Nigga, so that is. Juice I I went I went to his page and everything. Bought a feature from him and everything. Put him on the Band Aids remix and everything. And then come to find out that this nigga was just finding unreleased Juice World songs with open verses, Finesse. throwing his verse on there and making mm. money off of it. Because when they was when they was about to drop the <laughs> Legends, was the Legends Never Die? I think it was Legends Never Die when they was about to drop the Legends Never Die song. Yes. All right. Uh, Do your homework. They on went to Brain domain. Dead's page and snatched Finish. all them songs off of his page. Snatched all his money. He was like, "Man, I got twenty racks sitting in the motherfucking in my uh, tune core right now. They're not trying to give it to me." And then all of a sudden, his entire catalog missing because he was mm. doing all these songs with Juice World, yeah. but he wasn't. So people are people are like. People were hitting me up like, you don't know about br- about Brain Dead, bro? <coughs> I'm like, what you talking about? I didn't already bought the feature. It's out, nigga. Like, I'm getting all this Let information. Me I do Google searching, nigga. Now I got to know. And this is this is for our viewership as well, because a lot of people are up and coming and inspiring. How much money do you think that you invested into your rap career that didn't manifest into anything? Not the stuff that worked for you. Because I know that you put a couple dollars into that as well. How much money do you think you invested the wrong way like that? 99% of it. I think the only money I spent that was worth it was the songs that I dropped after Band-Aids. Like there was like a period of songs I was dropping after Band-Aids that I was heavily invested in. Mm -hmm. Those are the only investments that was worth it. All right, so for and and traveling okay. to different states was yeah. worth it. Yeah, but like for sure. Giving money to other people, giving money to YouTube pages, giving money to IG pages, TikTok pages. None of it was worth it until I started running ads for myself. So to stop the next person from bumping their head, like to, um, so they can go ahead and hit the hezzy on a lot of mistakes that you might have made. What's some advice you would give somebody, like real advice? No one can promise you a certain amount of plays. I can tell you that because I spent uh, $2,000 on Band-Aids, and I also spent $2,000 on Parallel Universe with uh, C-Money Baby. Mm -hmm. And you can see the difference. Like, I'm I'm almost about to hit a million with C-Money Baby. And Band-Aids has hit six million. Like together, like I got two versions of band aids one regular, one remix. And like when I blew up the remix, they both blew up. So, like, mm. shout out to C Money Baby, shout too, out to man. C Money that's Baby, bro. Bro. That, that's definitely, a family member of the podcast. Definitely, man. Thomas. That's hey. for sure. <laughs> Y'all getting C Money Baby on here? C Money yeah. Baby been on here already. Are you already on here? Mm, okay. mm-hmm. I'm, I'm asleep. Hey, hey man, this man. Welcome, this welcome to the 52. Here now. Man, welcome, welcome to the big leagues. Yeah, dog. <laughs> um, uh, you were supposed to come on. Well, okay. I don't know if you know or not, but you cool with Slim Beasy. Yeah. He used to be a castmate on this podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he asked me if he was going to be here when I picked him up. Okay. All right. Did you, So you, did you give him a... I told him that he wasn't going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All righty then. Long, long story short. Yep. He, he's not going to be here. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Um... Well, yeah, we glad to have you here, man, regardless. Hell yeah, appreciate it. Past, past due, but we glad you're here. 
All right, y'all ready to get to some of these topics? Let's, Let's get it. Do you want to go ahead and get your top op out the way so we can go get ahead? Get the top and... op. Let me who, who? who? Who's your top <laughs> op, man? Who, Bronny? Yeah. Do you know? <laughs> say, you know. He know. You nah, want me? To... You know. All right, let me hey, let me run hey, this down. Bronny? You know. This is a quote from uh, LeBron James. Uh, <laughs> he says, we're going to go through the whole process. He's still in season now. He... He has the Pac-12 tournament coming up. We're going to weigh our options, and we're going to let him make the decision. And that's uh, LeBron James on Bronny entering the 2024 NBA draft. You into basketball? You like basketball? I like basketball. I'm not, like, heavily into basketball, but mm-hmm. I'll ball. Have you Physical. seen? Have you? <laughs> <laughs> like, we can really get out there. Hey, but have you? <laughs> <laughs> We but, really get out. Hey, but hey. check. So, are are you familiar with uh, Bronny James or his performance that he's had recently? No, I'm not. He's fucking terrible, <laughs> and they still about to let him go to the league. Just cause LeBron. Of, who was that? Did LeBron's LeBron, son? We're not talking about going to the league just yet. LeBron's not son doing terrible. Yeah, he talking about the 2024 the NBA he's draft, the 12 tournament. Now. And then he said, That's this year. Yeah. Okay, he said we're going to weigh our options. Yeah. Right. But he's speaking we're on he's Bronny speaking James on the entering the 2024 NBA draft. That's what this whole season about. That's what my whole beef with this little nigga is about. Because <laughs> he not living up? Okay. No. No, not at all. Not, not at, at all. all. Not at all. And they, okay, so what is his problem? He's not living up, though. Is right? he not practicing? He's not his dad or his trash. brother, I, from what I'm hearing. And the nigga trash. Or his brother. On the yeah. trash team. Uh, his brother is supposed yeah. to be the one that really got this guy. The sauce. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bryce, how you, bro? Now I'm, I'm talking not, about his his his. I'm not his saying, stats or not it, bro. I'm not saying he. I, I, I totally agree, but I'm not gonna sit up here and say he don't deserve a spot on the bench. <laughs> Why? You know what I'm saying I'm not uh-huh. gonna sit up here and say. Why that. does he deserve that? Uh, you know, I was reserve to, me a bench. Seat. There's there's plenty there's plenty of people who sit sit on the bench. You don't know who the fuck they is. You know what true. I mean, or, That's or true. none of their accomplishments. But facts. you know what I'm saying, yeah. like they could have been just as shitty as this man. You know what I mean? Who knows? No, nah, I don't. Like, want me to tell you why I don't believe and that. LeBron James might actually know that. Want me to tell you why I don't believe that? Why don't you believe? Because Bronny is the only person who is LeBron James' son. And they're not going off of his talent at all. They're going off of who his daddy is. Everybody else that was on Yeah, but you got a lot to live up to, so that means you need to bust One one mic, one mic, one mic. Check this out. If you go to them same niggas that you talking about that like to ride that bench, Mm -hmm. I bet you if we go to their college and their high uh, high school career and Mm -hmm. we see how they perform there, I bet you they were balling, bro. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Because they they didn't have a LeBron James to be able to get to that bench, and if Bronny get on anybody's bench, it's solely because his last name is James. Damn, that's how shit he's on my side now. No, I mean because you know, at first I was trying to say give him chance, but come on, at some point you gotta you gotta give it up. You gotta hang it up. It's probably cats that went to the D League that's better than that that has Fact. performed better man. and that's in that's college a, the way this man has, has and that's the point that I'm trying to make I, I, our I, truth man. the wrestler's son is way better <laughs> than LeBron truth. James son <laughs> have you seen what's up have you seen uh, Larry Bird's grandson nope but I'm almost positive he in he's there. way better than LeBron man, Larry James Bird's son Bird's Bro, he's way <laughs> you know what he Bird's you know what, he, what you good. said one day that really Hell like he was like would you say Mellow Son is out there out balling? And y'all, don't, what's his name? Like <laughs> nobody know. Look, Kyan Anthony, name. but he out there doing but his he thing. He out there balling, mm-hmm. earning his right. I ain't gonna lie, I do watch a lot of like basketball, like reels and shit, like, mm-hmm. TikToks. So you be seeing what's going on, yeah. really? Yeah, you don't hey. ever see no LeBron but James seeing, Juniors. I don't. <laughs> hey, Not I, one time. But I see. I be watching like a lot of the underground. Niggas that be doing they shit cool, like man. a lot of people be talking shit about uh, what's that nigga name the professor, y'all know who the yeah, professor yeah, is? yeah of man, course hell they, be, yeah, they be talking <laughs> shit about he that man he'll be on the beach whooping <laughs> shit in costume to this day he be going <laughs> hard he be seeing crazy. Him? Yeah, that nigga that be what? on the beach in a Bugs Bunny costume, like, <laughs> hey, I got shaking niggas room. down. Though. <laughs> hey, hey, check dig. I got another LeBron James quote for you. You here? Okay. Ready for it? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
LeBron James on Bronny James ready to carry an NBA franchise. He can help the Lakers win a championship now. No, sir. What? <laughs> That's crazy. That just made Kobe roll That's over. Like you know what? We barely time. ever hit this button, <laughs> but I feel, like, I feel like I feel like nah. I feel like it's a it's appropriate. Mm -hmm. Man, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Is that it? That might not be. I he think that's win. it. Hold on, let's see. Hold on, let's see. There we go. Yeah. He can help that lay. Hold on, look. We gonna mix it up though. We gonna give. Him... Uh -uh. Hey, hey, LeBron James can't even help LA win the ring right now. Oh, Who the fuck you right. think Bronny gonna help? Bronny ain't got it, man. And LeBron, he just trying to he's just trying to keep that nigga on the team. Yeah. Hey, shout he, out to he, little Chris it's, it's, Killings. It's so crazy. I, just, I uh, you're not about to not put Bronny had, on your team. I had read something, and it was pertaining to Bronny or whatever. And for real, in all honesty, there is. Talent wise, there is no team that is going to take him. There's one. Well, you said talent wise. Yes, yeah, talent, talent wise, wise, there is no team that's going to take him. And the only way, if you if you take the shittiest team, like number one at the bottom, not the top, bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that would be. Charlotte shitty this year. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go with them. <laughs> it might be a good uh, star track. It might like attraction box. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it, yeah. It's, it, it's yeah, gonna fill sure. the seats because and, everybody want to see it. But uh, now, but see, then this is the flip side to that because mm -hmm. okay, he's a star. He, it's attracting, but it's not gonna keep it. Exactly. Yeah, this, hold on, wait, this is the say, thing. Due, due to the, due, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Due to mm -hmm. the fact that he's underperforming. Facts, yeah. Listen, not already. Not this is the stick. thing. They're not going off talent wise. I understand that. And it's gonna be about them dollars. And what's gonna bring them seats when Bronny don't? His daddy is his daddy. Bro, just, that's why he said so he was going to play way, with him. So whoever, even, in his bag. even if he don't play with him, if LeBron James show up in a suit and he gonna be at the game. It ain't Everybody no different than no Taylor Swift exactly. at the NFL, nigga. So what? Uh, those are yeah. not playing. But, but, this, well, and but this the thing, though. You're right. That's the Whatever. reason LeBron James Jr. is going to go to somewhere. Buy and damn near any team. Can, but Bruh, this so is, he this got is, a lot of potential <laughs> to show himself, though. No, he don't. No, he, he don't. got time to prove. <laughs> he got time. He, got, he, got, he got a lot of room but to see, grow. This is he the got thing. time he to prove. So, he if, so, to so if that's down. the case, then he will be going G League. And Best it, apparently, stay in fucking no, a, apparently his dad got faith in this upcoming tournament. So we'll see what that. Do he train with his with LeBron? Not LeBron. I'm saying, but that's development. This nigga said he can help the Lakers get a championship. Right if now, he, if nigga. He's not training with, D if he's not training hey, with him right now, happening. I'm sure he has before. You know what I mean? Like, but like I said, or whoever LeBron, we'll see with. what this tournament talking about. Or this could, Man, this or this could just be the way. For another year. You gotta, you gotta think. LeBron is. Oh, I forget who I was talking to, and it made sense to what they were saying. Le, like we be comparing LeBron and Jordan and all that type shit, right? Yeah. LeBron is in a. Category by himself. And let, exactly. Let me let me let me let me For say sure. this. Let me say this. I am not a LeBron. A whole other stature. I, I'm a LeBron fan too, though. But I'm not. I'm not a LeBron fan. But I do give credit where credit is due. Mm -hmm. Dude is in the category by himself and leading. Doing. I'm gonna be the first player to do this. I'm gonna be the first player to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be the first player to do this. Mm -hmm. Fuck how many championships? Because if we all be honest, there, I would say Bill Russell is the, is the goat. Yeah. Of course. Though I was Jordan he, is my goat, but Bill got, Russell was the goat because he got eleven motherfucking rings. You know, so he got more rings than fingers, goddamn it. So he <laughs> got you know what so, I mean? get, so with that be, with so it. with yeah. that be, so with that being said, like who's to say okay, his his mission is okay, I'm gonna be the first black man to be able to be, play in the NBA at this elite level and still be able to and, and have, play with my son. Ain't no other player did that. Ain't no right. ain't no player been on the same team, put on the jersey, been on the court with his son. Yeah, history right. is gonna be made. So it's gonna be so it's gonna be made. But who's to say that over and that's, over that, again. that's just what the mission may be, regardless mm -hmm. of his talent. And I'm, that may be. The, I was gonna I say, you know what I mean? I, I could see that happening. That's I mean, the mission for sure. Because LeBron, LeBron, 
It's pretty much at his wit's end. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can see it. It ain't He's trying to have somebody. It ain't gonna matter. When he retired, it's about legacy. It's about legacy now. He got rings. Mm-hmm. He got the deals. He got Space Jam too. Yeah, you know he got I mean? the shoe. He got Space he got, Jam too. He, he got, yeah, yeah, that's the that's a bag. Point. He you got the most saying? points ever. Like at this point now, he got I'm going to spend the rest of my career blowing this nigga up my up. kids up for greatness. And why not? Or when I retire, son, you're you gonna come ahead because of him. he can't perform. He said, yeah. <laughs> How bad is he? Like, I mean, I'm sure they go give me how here. bad. Hold on, he on the court for 21 hey, minutes. One mic, one mic. He ain't averaging four or 10 five minutes. points. I thought it was four. Hey, so the other night, four. USC and Colorado were playing a game. Right. I turned it on. I was thinking about placing a little bet on whoever was down, but then what distracted me was it was going to overtime and Bronny James was on the bench. So if that tells you anything. That he should be he's all not a you closer. need to know. He's not a closer. Like they can yeah. force him into the game all they want, but when it came down to it, he wasn't. He was in. He, he had his pullover on and everything. Yeah, he, he was, he was not over. coming into he that game. It was over. He, was he said he had his pullover. That on. told me all I needed to know. I, I agree with Diego now, and I'm a I'm a heavy <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> yeah. well, I was hoping. No, he I was is, trying to push has, it. I hope LeBron. he see this podcast and turn. I got some LeBrons right now. He he fucks with LeBron, but we at this point I'm with my brother. We cannot allow he said, right. this lackluster Chuck. performance to get praised, and he ain't did nothing Chuck for the said, praise. I can't keep sticking up for this brother. I can't, <laughs> keep, I can't keep sticking up for yeah, this for brother. Sure, can't. You can't. It's over with. All right, so listen. Are y'all ready for some black excellence? Let's talk yes, about sir. it. Let's get it. Can't, can't, are y'all ready to talk about some dating black excellence? Let's yes. talk about it. All right, so Ooh. there's a guy. On Facebook, his name is Victor Pate Sr., all right? Right. Mm -hmm. I'm about to read a quote from him. He says, another dating artist has gone gold. Josiah Malachi Pate, my son. Do y'all know who Josiah is? I know you know who Josiah is. Josiah from Dayton, Ohio, has officially went... Certified gold with his single Broke Shit, man. One time for Josiah. That's a dub. That's a dub. That's for the city. Nice. Yeah, man. Shout out, shout out, Josiah, bro. Another gold record out of Dayton, Ohio. J- That's Josiah right. That's is. All right. I don't don't sleep on the. Have you ever met him personally? You know him? Yeah, I performed with him. Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, I got history with him and everything. Uh, What's up? Uh, I was petty back in the day. I was really petty, um, <laughs> and I kind of fucked that up back in the day. But uh, just Bruh. looking. I love your self accountability. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I made a lot of mistakes when I was young, bro. I lost a lot of friends uh, just because of my mouth. And you probably done burnt a lot of bridges. Burned a lot of bridges. Never be able to cross. I burned a lot of bridges. You know why? Because I thought I was the bridge. Yeah. That's why. Mm -hmm. And that's why, like, I know I made a lot of mistakes because I thought I was. Always, always. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you are something different. I mean, I am, but like, I was looking at myself differently because people treated me a certain way, made me hold myself higher than I was. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I got that. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas go Hollywood. I like, in a a way, I guess you could say I went Hollywood, but like, I didn't really go Hollywood. It's just like the way I was treating people. I'm fucking with Humble Jack. But like, (laughs) fucking with Humble Jack. But Josiah, um, (laughs) me and him are falling out. But regardless, bro, I still listen to his music to this day, bro. That nigga fire. All right, now you keep falling out with motherfuckers, (laughs) Jack. Now I'm over here like, damn, do I need to do this? Do we need to do this? I ain't trying to fall out with you, gang. I'm much wiser than I was, bro. And you're you're taking accountability for saying. It was me. Yes. You know what yeah, I mean? I, like, I respect yeah. it for When sure. it's you, it's you. But when, when it's, it's somebody me, else, you put it on who? It was not just like. Yeah, handle your candle. It was definitely candle. on my part. I just said some dumb shit I shouldn't have said. But you know what Josiah is a perfect example of? You don't necessarily need your city. No, you don't. Because I had no idea who J- uh, Josiah was till about two years ago. And when I went on his YouTube channel. Dude is already out of here for real. Millions of views. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. I was um Chris Daly when I was with Only Noise. Uh, he had booked Josiah. I ain't gonna lie, Chris was ahead of his time, bro. There, there was one time he had booked Post Malone, Chris Daly, Boy, Playboy Cardi. Like y'all, uh, what was it? Land of Illusions. They had a giant festival. A bunch of rappers came out. Like I don't even remember. That. That was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. But he had his before hands Post on that. Malone was anybody. Mm-hmm. Chance yeah. the rapper came out just to come to the festival mm-hmm. before he was anybody. Okay, yeah. Like, 
Okay. Um, but you know, Chris was kind of head of the game with it, and he he just knew what a talent was before the talent became and, talent. And, uh, yeah. and the week before Josiah blew That's up, wicked. literally performed with him, and he linked with him. I was like, "Yo, what's up, bro? What's your name?" He's like, "Jai, quit playing with me. You know who I am." I was like, "I was like, I don't." He was like, "It's Josiah, nigga." I was like, "Oh shit!" I talked to you on Face, I talked to you on Instagram. Holy shit! Like, it's my first time meeting you in person. Dabbed him up. He was like, "We need to work, but nigga, you need to do it." Within a week, because I'm about to go to L.A. I'm about to link up with No Jumper. I got a bunch of shit lined up. I'm out of here. You know he was. He knew he was out of here. They seen you know he was. I was like, out damn, he really said that shit and that really happened. A lot of niggas say shit don't happen. Nah, mm-hmm. he said it and it happened. Yeah. Like, he really was about that shit. Shout yeah. out to the God, man. Yeah, shout out to Josiah, man. He had that I song. He got that song with Snot that absolutely blew him up. I want to say that's probably the song that really set him up there. Like, he didn't really need Snot. Mm-hmm. Like he could have did it on his own, but like I think the Snot's name really brought a lot of views to the song, mm-hmm. and niggas really realized how talented this, this nigga was. A lot of people don't even realize this nigga from Dayton. That part, like I believe, you part. don't know this nigga, but like yeah, I listen to this song all the time. Like yeah, he from Dayton. Like what? Yeah, bro, perform with him at Therapy Cafe, <laughs> nigga. Like <laughs> that shit crazy. Dayton got some. We got yellow, yellow. We got yellow, bro. I like mm-hmm. I still be. Uh, talking to yellow all the time. He come and record some of his songs with me, nigga. We got C Money, baby, nigga. Mm-hmm. Who else? Shout we out got? to my brother, man. Shout out to we bro. got Jola. I don't know if y'all not hip to man, Jola. Jola man, Trunk man, Boy, what come, you on. come on, the Trunk Boy, man. Come on, bro. Come yeah, on. for sure. I I thought that when he signed the Jermaine Dupri, I was I like, that was, was it for everybody. <laughs> nigga, I was in high school when that happened. So, baby, <laughs> I'm in the studio tonight. I thought it was because <laughs> my whole thing is. <laughs> I never really cared about who kicked the door open. Just leave yeah, that motherfucker somebody. open yeah. for everybody else to walk through that motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. I was just waiting for anybody. Lansky, bro. I swear, Lansky was our golden ticket, bro. Man. Definitely was. Our they snatched brother, that man. from us. That was definitely our golden Bruh. ticket. Bruh. Brother, man. Bruh. He had everybody he had backing it, bro. up. He had it, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, he had it, bro. When he dropped that DJ hey. Holiday joint, boy. Hey. Hell yeah, that not hey, guilty. Dude, what's up? Like, I ain't ain't no the birds. Hey. My I favorite. Was a hey. part of that, I ain't gonna say I was a part of it, but I was there in the studio over there with Cap when he recorded a lot of them songs. Yeah, at the green. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was green around room. that time period, like when he first got out, like it was a, like you knew something special was going on. Yeah. Like, and then but you the know what? Lansky dropped, had speed and recorded before he went to jail. I know. Mm-hmm. They used to record at that car wash off Salem across the street from Popeye's yeah. mm-hmm. with Pharaoh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, that's when I heard speed and like, oh, this shit out of here. Fact. Dude went to jail, got out, and it was out of here. Out of here. Yeah. 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 Montgomery uh, County Jail. jail. Yo. <laughs> what? That, I ain't gonna what? lie. When he did that, <laughs> Tell me, bro. I, that that to to me, cause that song, bro. I don't know what it is, and some to some people it might seem basic, mm-hmm. but dude, that song. When I heard that song, I'm like, bro, this nigga cold. Landscape yeah. legend. He just put his whole goddamn bro and made it in three verses. Put what his whole trial in three verses? Mm-hmm. And, I, and put nigga, the clips in it. You can shit was crazy. You can see the shit picture. Put the news like, clips nigga, in it. Yeah. No, hey, that but you know what, bro? That song was fire. I knew Lansky had it a long time ago. My favorite Lansky album is Kush Bud and Wedding, and wedding Band. Band. Well, uh, I ain't even hip to that Lansky. The first I'm one. Flying up and down. With Daquan hey. Cook. You ain't never heard Daquan Cook? Uh, Young yeah, 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 Oklahoma yeah, yeah, Thunder and yeah, Daquan Cook. You can tell I'm getting money by the way I look. Damn, I damn near want to leave out with that. Yeah, God, definitely. For sure. All right, so listen, it's almost, it's because we try to keep it to a certain time, and that's how I know we having a good time with you, bro, because we almost, there and we ain't even really got to go through a lot of these topics so uh we about to try to run through some more of these okay and shit whenever you feel like you want to come sit back down on the couch bro you more than welcome anytime just let us know (laughs) slide through and that way because we got a lot of your background out the way so next time we gonna get straight to the topics from the yeah you feel me Mm-hmm. For sure. All right, so look, y'all ready to get some 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 information from our uncle? Let's run. Yeah, let's get uncle it. Talk to him. Come on, man. The same uncle so we go. riding on. Walmart, you better get your shit together, your baby. Uncle, pay that man. Better, get your, better get your uncle Snoop, baby. He pay that to, man. Uh, this is, uh, who posted this? Was it was me? Oh, okay. Look, man, go check this out. You want to hear it? Here it go. like to hear it? Here it go. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, listen. 
I was off of his album. How, how is Michael Jackson not making money off his own Look music? Look this shit up. Who if takes you, that? The record label? The record label. It was, it's called points and percentages and royalties and shit that you get for the record. So, for example, if they were selling Michael Jackson record Thriller for nine ninety nine, right? How much money do you really think he made off of each copy of Thriller? And this is the eighties, and that shit sold the most records ever. He made a lot of money, but what you think the record labels made? They made all the fucking money. Perfect example, Taylor Swift. She ain't an old artist at all. She's quite new. The game, y'all. What did she do? She remastered her album. Why? Because she wasn't making revenues off of that album. But some artists do make better sense for them to just say, fuck it, I'm going to remaster my shit. Because after seven years, in case you artists don't know, the oh, seven-year yeah. clause where you can remaster your Get album up. and get the ownership back. Michael Jackson wasn't even lie. making dollars off of his album. Game. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Game. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Taylor Swift fucked the game up with that one. Mm -hmm. She fucked the game up. You know the only other person I know did it finesse like Taylor? Tori. That, nah, that little nigga, Lil Pump. Mm. Yeah, oh. Yeah, Lil, Lil Pump, Pump was the finesser of all the finessers. Yeah. You know what Lil Pump did? No, I don't. He I signed don't. a record he label. Underrated. He signed a contract for how many million was it? 15. Like 15 million dollars, mm -hmm. right? They put out the uh the song that made, what was that song? What Gucci hell? man. Yeah, you the Gucci song. Okay. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Signed for fifteen million dollars. Come to find out, he signed the contract and he was underage, so the contract was voided. Mm. Because but there was no no guardians but there. They are, but listen, <laughs> they already <laughs> invested so much money into this nigga and his music. Guess what they turned around and did. Gave him another fifteen million dollars and signed him again, bro. Crazy. So he gave him another. He got a he got 30. a whole free fifteen. Ooh, got damaged just a free off the. 15. But they like, damn, we done put so much into him. Mm. If we was to let him go now, we we lose. And then he get with somebody else, or he just drop independent. Mm -hmm. We gonna lose. We gonna lose. So him. basically, you're saying Lil Pump didn't fall off. He retired. Lil okay. Pump did Quit. it smart. Yeah. He didn't even care about doing music. He just got a bag, he got another his, bag, did that. his couple like, years and got the fuck out. At the same time, he we seen him spend a lot of money on some stupid shit. Yeah. And we don't know exactly what he invested the rest of that money into. J. Cole wrote a whole song about him. Lil Pump at 17 was richer than the rappers we look up to oh, now. No. Somebody's pulled and hit the dirt. What? No, 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 no. no, but you know what I'm saying? Like he he thirty million at at seventeen, sixteen. Thirty million? And he probably spent dumb and Why still has like some. <laughs> y'all trying to write a movie? Yeah, I'm gonna say y'all got me. What nervous the fuck is y'all what is going on? We don't know. We don't know. What, we don't know. what you mean? You, 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 but low key, Tori. It. Hey, hold on. Wait, I gotta say, if you break it, you buy it. I don't know hey. which, what y'all niggas on. Y'all, how can we man, break it we sitting broke. here? Yeah, I'm broke. Right. You we'll see us sitting we'll here. We'll talk right. about this later. All right, yeah. But. <laughs> hey, y'all see us sitting here, right? Yeah. Like we ain't was that break. the was that the couch? Yeah. Oh. Tomorrow, I ain't promise I'm gonna live it up. <laughs> Hey, All right, we'll have ahead. video evidence of them sitting there. So, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> go ahead. What? So, what was we saying? I'm sorry. We was talking about Lil Pump. Um, Tory Lanez, bro. He, he, oh, you was, was talking about just the music yeah, industry yeah. in general. Tory Lanez. Yeah, been well, I'm talking about yeah. where we picked up. Man, free Tory. Yeah, free Tory. that's why they got him, bro. I'm telling you right now. Bro. Ain't no different than Bill. They Kyle's got that nigga because he or, did that NFT shit. Or anything, or no, he, he got said, yeah, it. Yeah, my album a dollar. You Not only that, people buy that motherfucker. He got all his, he owned everything. That nigga, he do his own music video. Anytime you get to owning too much or something, they was like, you got to get him out there. Yeah, it's your ass. He Jack. making too much money without us. He locked his dumb ass up. Like they got him quick. Man, he got it too. Yeah, that nigga talented, Tory. Man, yeah. that's one of my favorite mm -hmm. artists. That nigga dropped the album from jail like what a month ago. That shit fire. That's the deluxe, I think, bro. That shit. Yeah. He said can't do nothing with all that I money found now. It, found it. Nigga. Set by a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Free yeah. Tory. Man. They got Tory, bro. That nigga. He gonna do only. He gonna do about three, four years. Yeah, he'll get. Out. He'll get out early. Yeah, he ain't. He ain't about to do that. I already heard he been doing chill. He been being chill in jail anyway. Yeah, yeah he ain't doing all the time. Crazy. But. That shit crazy. Up and down, hey, that shit don't always be what niggas be trying to hey, make the scene tomorrow, be niggas, I promise I'm gonna live it up. <laughs> Shout out to the legend. 
What's the next topic? Hey, yo, man. <sighs> you you mean the Kiara We wine? don't have no fucking in here. <laughs> we have nothing in here to it's drink. My I'm a fault besides Kiara. But Kiara wine. Shout out. <laughs> round of applause for our sponsor. <laughs> Kiara <laughs> wine, God damn it. Come on. Shout out to Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> My nigga leaning. Nah, I get what you're doing. Hand him that bottle of Kier. Where's that? I got it. Hand him that bottle of Kier. Hand him that bottle. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, well, it's about that time. Mm-hmm. What you got coming up, bro? Man, uh, shit. Uh, I, 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 First, uh, first to say, I'm announcing. Uh, been in the studio like, like twice this week. Last two days, I've been at Thursdays. So I've been, I've really been cooking. Staying up. Uh, Money Hungry Three is pretty much damn near complete. I'm missing a song and a feature from somebody. From me. Uh, respectfully so. Say that shit. Uh, but outside of that though, man, um, nothing, man. Again, staying focused, bro. Trying to keep my life back straight. You know what I'm saying? Enjoying my freedom and uh, just looking oh, to cook, man. Looking sad. to work. I, I got a good feeling about this year, so that's what it do. I'm just trying to, you know, what I'm saying, make some things manifest and see things come to fruition. Let's get it, man. Stay What's true, the best man. Week, Stay true. Need goddamn it, it's gonna happen. Respectfully. Talk to me, Big Yago. Man. You know me. Nah, I did a thing. You didn't even ask me what was you didn't even hey man. You did a woo, thing. I did a thing. Listen, did we use thing. listen, we usually come in with what we but he got to talking that one type shit as soon as yeah. we can't. So you know we just and went when with I failed it. to get my record sealed so I hey. could be a normal person again. Hey. No more of that, hey. you know. He telling me he's popping up. Hey, congratulations. Time, they yeah. my name, none of that. Yeah. I'm about to get my gun license. I'm about to get this FN, man. This this 10 millimeter FN, man. I'm about to, I got to mm-hmm. fucking have it. Mm-hmm. But other than that, man, you know, same old shit, man. Figuring this shit out. I'm about to do a tape with Jive. Y'all niggas need to be on the lookout. <laughs> 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 that, part, that part. That part. Bar is me on. Me and my cousin three coming soon. That's like, what I was waiting on. Yeah, me and my cousin. All right, let's go. March 1st. That's coming out March 1st, me and my cousin. And then I'm about to start working on the shit with Jai. On God? Yeah. That's easy. On CD. You just got to be like, hey, bro, I'm in the studio with Thursday today. Say uh, But both of y'all got that kind of energy. I think that's going to happen gonna be for real. Crazy. I think it's going to happen for real. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. We I get. think it's going to yeah, happen. It's going to happen. Like, we may know, like this but, upcoming, yeah. if, if not between this week, probably next week. That's a bet. I'm locked in. Brian, what's up? What you got going on? I ain't got nothing going on. But a little bit of pot. Yeah. I uh I'm starting to press cut different merch again starting tomorrow. Yeah. You do your own yeah. merch? Yeah, for sure. We got I the cut different. We got the Warner Brother wait. cut different logo. Oh, well, I'm gonna be hitting we you. We got up. the we got the original OG Ooh. Scissor Gang cut different logo. You you feel me? We got I the need, I need we got the cover. cut different University w. alumni logo. I need we a got, And of course, we got the cut different network logos and the EHO. We coming with the EHO shirts too. So yeah, um, we get back to that. Yourself? I got. Here. I got shirt printers, heat presses. I'm going to beat you up. Yeah, for sure. We get we we back to it. Like so, it's time to stop making other people money. Hello, and start bro. keeping the money in the. You got to keep it in the family, baby. I was so, just talking about that earlier. You, know, you got to really do that shit for real. We, we on the road to independence. Yeah, mm-hmm. you feel me? So that's how I got going on. What about you, brother? Man, you know me, chilling like a motherfucking villain. <laughs> working in the crib, hey. working in the hey. crib, huh? Working hey. in the crib, whoa, hey. working whoa, in the crib. Yeah. Hey, you know. And loving every minute hey, of it. Heard that in a loving minute. Loving every minute of it. <laughs> loving every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, you know, just trying to make a couple dollars, and, and man, roll up as a little something at the crib and watch my little talk shows. Oh, yeah, I'm still Chilling. stuck on Hey, cover. y'all. Vince Staples. Go. Give it to us. Vince Staples hey, show. Give it y'all. to us, baby. Is that the, what you're about the, to talk about? The Vince Staples show, definitely a hit. But 
wasn't okay. really what I was aiming for. I'm lost. Oh, man. New Mike Epps stand up on Netflix. Oh, Boy, yeah. had my stomach hurting. Oh, yeah. Like That's hey, my name. Oh, had my stomach hurting. You hear me? Yeah, need Bruh, that in my check life. Check that out, man. I'm going to tap out. Real I was talk. in Indianapolis the other day. And I had some people in my car. Mm-hmm. Some <coughs> white people. <laughs> <laughs> and they had no idea who Mike Epps was. What? what the and friend. they were from Indianapolis. I was like, Mike Epps that's be in all the white movies. That's right. I think they was lying to no. you, bro. I think they, well, the thing no. is, is they they probably just Yankee didn't. Yankee didn't no. I probably, probably just didn't put the name with the face. Yeah, if you should. Now that's possible them, because. Been like, yeah. 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 Listen to me. That's possible because I met. Y'all know who Day Day is? Look, that's possible because I done met I done met white people who who ain't never heard of Harriet Tubman. You're supposed to cough. When that's you different. <laughs> that's, that's, that's nothing like asking one of us who Harriet Tubman yeah, is. You know. Do you know who Harriet how Tubman you want, is? How you not where know? You, went who, to school, who, you might not man, know who Harriet Tubman is. Harriet. Listen, man, they was about to turn the dub into the tub. How you don't oh, know man. that we was about to have Harriet Tubman on the 20s? You feel me? Man, I hey, want my man. shit in tubs. But yeah. listen, though, right? <laughs> depending on who you I mean, where you went to school, you might not have never learned about her. Hey, I, I went to a, yeah, a white that's school crazy. in and a white when, suburb, when and I even school. learned about her. Like, that's something that they didn't try to fucking hey, hide from. You and, feel? Or, but oh, wait. You know who Mike Epps is, too, don't you? Yeah. See what Man, I'm saying? Chuck, that's do not that. fucking count. That's Chuck is later than... <laughs> Chuck Chuck is you see who he kicking it with? That's Chuck is later than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> of course he knows who Mike Epps is. Chuck yeah. be the latest one. <laughs> Chuck don't count. Chuck be the latest one. All the functions, all the... Hey, Chuck always... Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, Sometimes no, I, Chuck be getting me hip to shit. Like, hey, that's why Chuck don't count. White, we call him white. We call him white chocolate. Yeah, that shit don't white count. White chocolate. He's not a. <laughs> he's not a good example. He's not a good reference. He's I'm not, just saying. When you I, think about what? When I grew up, you don't think about where I grew guy. up. Oh my nigga. I even knew about her. So that's crazy that you would say that somebody would. Yeah. Know. Right. The For other sure. day. I mean, granted, he was young. He was younger. But it was like. Damn, how you not know who Well, that's even worse. It's hey, supposed, hey, it's hey, supposed to be we better about now, to, ain't we, it? Listen, this is the end, y'all. We about to, really, <laughs> we about, we about to get back to into it. it. <laughs> get back into John, it. what you got going yeah, what on? what you got going on, Jack? Song dropping Friday. Y'all heard it in the beginning. It just Ball dropped. For me. You got to tell them it just dropped because by the time this come out, it's going to be Okay, so yeah, it, the 23rd, so it's about to, it's, it's drop. It's out. Yep. It's out. Hard. Chuck, be Fire. Y'all heard it here first, though. So this month I'm dropping, I'm just dropping the the one song. Next month I'm dropping a banger, and then the month after that, which is April, I'm dropping every single week, and that's my banger, my banger month. I'm dropping mm-hmm. all bangers that month. Then after that, I'm gonna get back emotional, get back in my emotional bag. But now, I'm gonna drop hold on, though. Yeah. Not, yeah. not. You while got, you win your banger while you bag, dropping your banger bag, tell them you dropping it. In the- See, you still and thinking we, about it. <laughs> <this. laughs> hey, well, while in the banger hey, bag, we got to come out with some drop bangers. Drop some bangers. Hey, that that bangers. <laughs> but them songs are already uploaded. About to they ready to work. drop. I'll be uploading real. months okay. and months and months and months. All right. Yeah, I'm about to say. Uh, <laughs> what you got going on, Chuck? <laughs> um, I, I ain't got nothing different than usual going on. So I'm going to take this time and I'm going to thank you for coming on. And uh, I want to give you a couple shout outs because uh, back in like 2014, I started school over at ICB and you dropped that video for regular. And that was that was like one of my inspirations to get into shooting video at all. So this this right here literally uh, might not even be happening if you didn't drop that video. <laughs> so hard. I just appreciate that. And also uh, the first video I ever posted on my YouTube was that live video of you and Trav doing No Lie at One Eye Jacks. You shot that video? Yeah, that was me That's just hard, messing yeah. around with the camera from school. So I just want to. That's still on you. I really appreciate you coming out, and I want to give you some some hey, love man. for you know helping Flowers. me, my inspiration along the way. I appreciate you, brother. That's what it do. That's man. fire, man. That's, That's what it do. Jeff. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know what to expect. Best podcast I've ever been on. Respectfully, so. Best, hey. hey. Yes, sir. I'm glad. Listen, most people Clip that don't thing. like to do that because. <laughs> They don't want to offend no, but you can't. Everybody has an opinion, and everybody has an asshole, uh-huh. <laughs> and everybody has a podcast. You know, just not this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> this was everybody has one. Jive, you come back whenever you want to, big dog, and I mean that, man. Uh, number seven. We about to leave out. 
with a song from a legend. R.I.P. the GOAT. R.I.P. to Mike Lansky, man. We about to take it back for you. Is Mike Lansky like it legend. or love it? Woody! Let's go. Remember this song? Ain't 100, I keep it real when I talk. Oh These niggas keep lying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got Remember you. that? I got you. We don't even write this shit. No one. Uh, on here. He and if you, if you did, if, if, wait, 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 wait. If you ain't know, you're now tuned in to the number one podcast coming out of Ohio, baby. Baby, like it, I love it. I'm selling white out in public. If you ain't talking about my neck, then I'm switching the subject. Had three bands on me. I spent it all like fuck it. You know the niggas gon' hate it, but the bitches gon' love it. Hit a lick on some zips, spent it all with my cousin. Plus I drop me an album, I keep spending my budget. Nigga, like it, I love it. I got hoes by the dozen. I ain't winking for nothing. If she smiled, then she fucking Young like a fool with the wordplay He dropped them bricks off, I got him gone the first day Count my profit up, got her with the third day Now I'm flying up and down, get his bird, ayy Tomorrow ain't promise, I'ma live it up I know these niggas wanna kill me, I don't give a fuck Gotta keep that pistol on me like I'm James Bond I bust a nigga head, bitch, I got bond Yeah, bond money, bond money, bond money I got bad money and my nigga doing time for me Money on his books. Right. We gon' be good. Homie taught me how to cook. Rick stacked up on the wall. Look like a stack of books. This the library, man. I wouldn't lie to ya. Come and get some knowledge, baby. Come and get some profit. From rags to riches, nigga. I can pop your pockets. Show you how to get it out the mud. We eatin' over here, coming grub. Fuck bitches, count money, live it up. Nigga, I can put you on. I'm a plug. I'm selling white out in plastic. If you ain't talking about my neck, then I'm switching the subject. Had three bands on me, I spent it all like fuck it. You know the niggas gon' hate it, but the bitches don't love it. They, they, they don't wanna see me guapped up. Pussy, pussy niggas rather see me locked up. Ain't been the same since pops got popped up. Your son eating daddy, I know you see me daddy. Yeah, if shit get boring, I'm pulling down a shop for him. Fucking bitches on the road got me feeling like I'm torn. I'm living a movie, man, I really got a story. We really had. It hard, you can ask my brother Corey. Corey. Somebody record me, let me clear my thoughts. My Everything thoughts. 100, I keep it real when I talk. When I These talk. niggas keep lying and they rap their trip. trip. Quit that talking shit, nigga, come and cop a brick. Brick fair, brick fair, brick fair. I got brick fair, make me famous like I'm Rick Flair. Woo. In the club, I'ma get a nut if your bitch there. I'm in love with alligators, I just caught me six pair. They come like it, I love it, I'm selling white out in plastic. Hey, you ain't talking about my neck, no then I'm switching the subject. You know the niggas gon' hate it, but the bitches gon' love it Baby, like it, I love it, I'm selling white out in plastic If you ain't talking about my neck, then I'm switching the subject Had three bands on me, I spent it all like fuck it You know the niggas gon' hate it, but the bitches gon' love it You know the niggas gon' hate it, but the bitches gon' love it You know the niggas gon' hate it, but the bitches gon' love it Had three bands on me, I spent it all like fuck it You know the niggas gon' hate it, but the bitches gon' love it Legend R.P. Oh, to my R. brother, Mike Lansky, bro Little bro. On everything. What's up with it? Tell that What's camera. up with it? Tell that camera right there when we gonna see him. In a minute, boy. In a minute, boy. In a minute, boy. Hey, hey, Strip on the throw, don't fight. Getting brave when I'm rolling away. 
get what I want, I'm controlling the pay. Fuck you and Deb, if you get in my way, I'm in the level, my pain getting paid. My, 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 my bitch said she need a new bitch, I like them conceited and rich. I'm fucking the game like a glitch, they saying I switch, but now I get money and you wasn't paying me shit while I'm making these hits. Two bitches, I'm making them kiss, I'm making a list of these rappers, I think I should diss. Should I be taking a risk? Fuck if I'm making them piss. Everybody wanna judge me, wishing that they was me Don't lie, your bitch wanna fuck me Break up the puppy, anytime I'll do it for the money I do it cause they love me, no lie No lie, no lie Everybody wanna judge me, wishing that they was me Don't lie, your bitch wanna fuck me Break up the puppy, anytime I'll do it for the money I do it cause they love me, no lie Tell no lies. Yeah. Sipping up and lifting, can't tell no time. Yeah. Smoke a lot of weed, don't kill my vibe. Yeah. Smoke a lot of trees, don't kill my high. Yeah. No lie, I'm not trying to get signed. Yeah. I'm just signing tits on. Yeah. To find a shit wine. Uh -huh. Honey's all on my mind. I roll with the baddest, she's savage, not average. Yeah. She counting cabbage, plus she bad as a man. Rocking them carrots, attracting them rabbits. Her ass be the fattest, a dab when I grab it. Shawty so dope, I'm an addict, I'm at it like a Twitter mention. Young and need him and intervention. My pockets keep her attention. My pockets keep her attention, but this is just one of my bitches. Yeah. But I ain't starting, I'm a regular dude. Graduated from a regular school. Same lane, making regular moves. Job and trap, that's a hell of a tune. If you ain't vibing, get the hell out the room. Job and trap, that's a hell of a tune. If you ain't vibing, get the hell out the room. Everybody wanna judge me, wishing that they was me. Don't lie, your bitch wanna fuck me. Break out the bubbly, anytime. I'll do it for the money. I do it cause they love me, no lie. Everybody wanna judge me, wishing that they was me. Don't lie, your bitch wanna fuck me. Break out the bug me. Anytime I'll do it for the money. I do it cause they love me. No lie. No lie. One time for the queen, and you already know, make some noise for your boy. Oh. It's, it's cut different, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>